The Aviva is all about dramatic shape and color. So it's actually quite interesting combination that is actually sporty, looking quite aggressive, but at the same time very feminine and colorful. For me, for me Aviva's um, powerful. It's uh, the plumb bow kind of defines that boat. It's the first sort of large yacht of this size with, with a plumb bow. And uh, that really sort of gives the character to the yacht, but also the, the superstructure lines as well. They're a little unusual, a little quirky, um, which also give it some, some character. Um, so I think the, the sort of unusual look and the power of the boat sort of define it for me in the exterior, yeah. really. He was happy and brave enough to do something different on the outside. He, he, he liked the look. Um, but for him, the primary concern was the volume. Luxury of space was his mantle, really. He wanted to have a huge home on the water, so that was his prime concern. It's, it's a bit of a, a love-hate boat. Some people love it, some people hate it. But He wanted the yacht to have a, a special look, in a sense that people could recognise her, where he goes. Mm. And I think he's very proud of how strong and recognizable uh, she is and during the build of the project you always actually have a smaller group of people you don't really feel like you're designing with a committee or building with a committee it's quite personal and um, that's why this shipyard is very different to other shipyards yeah, and we work a, with a lot of people it's a very <laughs> enjoyable process <laughs> to work with yeah. Aberking is, yeah. is a real pleasure yeah. and it, everything moves fast and efficiently yeah.